following contest is an lucky. Extreme Rules match. Making great. his way to the ring. From West Newberry, Time Massachusetts. Go to work. Weighing 251 pounds, John Cena. King, I'm not sure there's a superstar in WWE history that's worked harder than John Cena. And you know, Cole, I don't know how he does. He's on the road nearly every day of the year. I don't think he ever sleeps. And approaching the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 286 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Oh, listen to this place. Everybody's on their feet. I love this atmosphere. And we are live with our main event. You can feel the electricity in this one. Brock Lesnar going to work now. Oh, that did it. He does it again. Oh, Brock Lesnar's on a roll right now, gaining lots of ground. Oh! Luke, that press. John Cena, filled with heart and determination. Right now, what must be going through his mind, King? Well, whether you're someone who loves John Cena or hates John Cena, and of course, there are plenty of both, there's no avoiding John Cena. And that's one of the things that makes every one of his matches so exciting. You know that one half of the building is going to be going nuts, hoping to see Cena get pummeled, and the other half will be the C-Nation, going even more nuts to see him dominate. If he keeps delivering clotheslines like that, he's going to break his arm. Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. This match could end up anywhere. Oh my gosh, turned inside out. And this is gonna return to the ring. No one is ever sitting on their... Oh, hey, wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. again you know John Cena is one of those guys that you could say was born to perform I mean he grew up in a house with four brothers and a dad who's a huge WWE fan the Cena brothers were always beating up on each other they practically had their own WWE business right there in the basement John had already built his own set of moves by the time he hit puberty just out of those battles with his brothers Kind of devastation will we see now? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. Look out! Sledgehammer! Oh! That sledgehammer right to the side of the head. Uh, hey! Wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. Watch it! Oh, stopped at the last second. Oh, man. And now it is show-off time. Don't waste time loading here. What a shot! Lesnar looking down at his opponent. What a move. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Whoa, look out. Lesnar has this cinched in. Once you're caught in this, it's like being caught in the teeth of a wild animal. 
There's no escape until it's too late. Ooh, watch it. He looks fired up here. He's not exactly hopping up to his feet here. Just by Brock Lesnar's Kimura than by any other finisher in WWE. In fact, I don't know if calling it a finisher is adequate. It's more like a mutilator. Just ask Mark Henry or even Triple H. He's still not through. The offense of Brock Lesnar is working well right now. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Suffice to say, you never want to get in Lesnar's grasp, Cole. He's as strong as an ox. He's got hands the size of lunch pails, and there's no getting out of that Kimura lock once you're in it. That's it. He's out. He's begging for it. Uh-oh, look at this. Ow. Trying to put him away. Wow, what a move from Brock Lesnar. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. He could pin his opponent right here. And he wins the Extreme Rules match. And here's some highlights from the matchup. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match.